Let me reveal a secret from a planet we've all been seeing in a completely wrong light. Now it's finally been released, the James Webb image we've all been waiting for shows a celestial body we thought we knew, but few of us see our old familiar Saturn in these images. Instead, we think we might see a twin of Saturn somewhere in a distant star system. Saturn looks somehow familiar in these images and yet so very different. What has happened? Are we now seeing for the first time what Saturn is really like and what the true secret of its rings is? On June 25, 2023, the James Webb Space Telescope presented us with a breathtaking new view of Saturn. The JWST is the most advanced celestial observatory ever sent into space, and with it began a new era of sky observation. With its ability to view the universe in infrared light, the new telescope is literally revealing secrets that were previously hidden in the dark. Infrared light signals are much finer than other light waves, they therefore reveal aspects that we could not see with other telescopes. Thanks to this enormous improvement, the JWST can show previously unknown and very distant objects and let old acquaintances such as Saturn shine in a new light. This new view is changing our ideas about the striking gas giant and answering urgent questions about Saturn's composition. Compared to the beige marble images of the Hubble Space Telescope, the JWST offers a perspective in dark, mysterious tones. The rings glow in the infrared spectrum in unprecedented detail. We have the Near Infrared Camera Instrument, NearCam for short, to thank for this unique display. The use of special color filters now enables astronomers to highlight very specific characteristics of a planet that remain hidden in the visible light spectrum. The contrast and color accents allow planetary researchers to gain valuable information about surface structures, composition, and elements. So, the use of these filters is not just to show us new aesthetic representations of planets, they are important scientific tools to unlock more secrets from planets like Saturn. The scientific community is excited about the new insights and the fantastic possibilities of the new telescope, and amateurs are enjoying the new images, brilliant colors, and glowing rings just as much. But what exactly can we learn from this new image, and how does it change our view of Saturn and the entire solar system? James Webb's NearCam reveals secrets, who would have thought that one day we would see Saturn in this way? The NearCam's infrared sensors penetrate cosmic dust and gas to reveal minute details. By using color filters, the JWST can isolate specific wavelengths of light and gather detailed information about the chemical composition, temperature, and other physical properties of planets and stars. Planets do not emit light themselves, but they reflect it, and this is enough to give the light unique signatures that reveal more about the planet, its composition, and atmosphere. Saturn is already considered to be quite well researched, but we still don't know everything about the gas giant. The problem with studying the gas giants is the impossibility of landing probes on them. Probes can get close to them, but the high pressure of the largest planets in the solar system makes it impossible to penetrate into deeper layers. When the Cassini probe crashed into Saturn on September 15, 2017, after a mission lasting almost 20 years, it still transmitted valuable data for a few minutes, but then it was over. The technology failed, and it remains impossible for us to investigate deeper layers of Saturn. Thanks to infrared technology, scientists can now make significant discoveries around the ringed planet that previously seemed impossible. Each image the JWST sends back to Earth is a piece of the puzzle in the big picture of the universe. The new impressions help scientists to unravel the great mysteries of cosmic evolution and to perfect our picture of the formation of stars, planets, and galaxies. The JWST is therefore far more than just a telescope, it's a portal to new scientific dimensions and a tool that will help us to solve many of the unanswered questions about the solar system and the universe. In the brand new image, Saturn appears in dark, mysterious tones that almost contrast sharply, and even scientists were surprised at how dark Saturn appears in infrared light. What is particularly interesting is that Saturn's northern hemisphere, which is just coming out of its seven-year summer here, is significantly darker than expected. Scientists suspect that this phenomenon is caused by the absorption of infrared light by methane in the atmosphere. 
At certain wavelengths, methane absorbs almost all the light, and then Saturn becomes darker and darker. Another puzzle is the glowing edge of the atmosphere that is visible in the images. This could indicate the fluorescence of methane, in which atoms absorb light and then re-emit it at different frequencies. These images provide scientists with enough material for years of research, analyzing new data and developing theories. So, it will be some time before all the phenomena are completely deciphered. Saturn is one of the most complex celestial bodies, and we have only understood a small part of the atmospheric processes so far. Thanks to James Webb, we will make a lot of progress on this path. However, with every answer that the JWST provides us with, new questions arise. Why, for example, do the rings here shine so conspicuously bright when other images have shown them in a rather pale light? Saturn's rings unmasked, the magical thing about Saturn's rings is their incredibly long history of formation, some of them are probably relics from the first hours of the solar system and are therefore billions of years old. Other structures are still young and the rings are constantly changing. The JWST infrared technology allows us to see Saturn's ring structures in a level of detail that was previously unimaginable. The rings glow because they are largely made up of a mixture of ice, dust, and rock particles. Each individual element that we can isolate from the structure tells us its own story about the formation and evolution of Saturn's ring system. Saturn's moons appear to play a crucial role in the dynamics of the ring system. Enceladus, in particular, with its ice volcanoes, actively contributes to the formation of the earrings by spewing water vapor and the finest ice particles into the space around Saturn. The interactions between the moons and the rings are among the most fantastic physical processes that take place in this distant world. They help us to understand the evolution of the ring system and may even provide fundamental answers to questions about the formation of the solar system. A new look at Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune. Have you ever seen the gas giants like this before? Again, the images seem somehow familiar but also strange. The new views never cease to amaze. Jupiter's atmosphere appears in blue light in the new image. The great red spot is suddenly white, and the cloud bands provide far more contrast. These images reveal for the first time details of auroral activity, storms, and weather phenomena in Jupiter's atmosphere with a clarity that was not visible with previous telescopes. In particular, the fine structures in Jupiter's atmospheric bands are highlighted in such a way that differences in altitude become visible. The surface of the planet proved to be very uneven and not smooth. The Great Red Spot, for example, towers above its surroundings by several kilometers. Let's travel a little further. Would you have recognized Neptune here? The most distant ice giant shines so bright and white in Webb's view and surprises with its double ring. Anyone who doesn't know that this is also an old acquaintance would probably think that the image shows a glowing exoplanet. In addition to several bright narrow rings, Webb's image also shows Neptune's finer dust rings. The extraordinarily stable and precise image quality of the image now allows scientists to analyze these fine dust rings, which are located extremely close to Neptune, for the first time. Neptune is known as an ice giant due to the chemical composition of its interior. Compared to Uranus and the other gas giants Jupiter and Saturn, Neptune is richer in heavy elements and probably has a solid core. We know Neptune in the typical dark blue color that the Hubble Space Telescope images have shown us. The images taken by Webb's NearCam in the near-infrared range of 0.6 to 5 microns swallow up the blue light. In fact, the methane gas absorbs so much red and infrared light that the planet is quite dark at these near-infrared wavelengths, except where high-altitude clouds are present. Such clouds of methane ice appear as bright streaks and patches that reflect sunlight before it's absorbed by the methane gas. A thin streak of brightness circling the planet's equator could be a signature, now visible for the first time, of the global atmospheric circulation that drives Neptune's extreme winds and storms. Here we have the last of the bunch. Uranus shines in its usual pale blue, but would you have thought that Uranus also has so many beautiful rings? James Webb makes it possible, 
and you can imagine that it wasn't just the scientists who were completely blown away by this image. This new image demonstrates Webb's unprecedented sensitivity to the faintest dust rings. Voyager 2 was first able to provide evidence of rings around Uranus during its 1986 flyby of Uranus. Then the Keck Observatory was able to image some of the rings for the first time using advanced adaptive optics. And now we have these incredible images. Uranus has 13 known rings, and 11 of them are visible in this web image. Some of these rings are so bright with web that when they are close together, they appear to merge into one larger ring. Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun, is unique. It rotates sideways at about a 90 degrees angle to the plane of its orbit. This leads to extreme seasons, as the poles of the planet are exposed to constant sunlight for many years, followed by an equal number of years of complete darkness. In the image, we see late spring at the North Pole, with the next northern summer not starting until 2028. When Uranus was visited by Voyager 2, the last summer was at the South Pole. Uranus is so far away that it takes 84 years to complete one orbit around the Sun. In Webb's image, the South Pole is on the dark side of the planet and therefore out of sight. This infrared image was taken by Webb's near-infrared camera, combined with data from two filters at 1.4 to 3.0 microns. The effects are shown in blue and orange in the photo. A bright cloud lies at the edge of the polar cap, as well as some features that extend beyond the edge of the cap. A second very bright cloud can be seen at the left edge of the planet. Such clouds are typical of Uranus at infrared wavelengths and probably show storm activity. Subscribe to the channel now. There are many more exciting video hits to come.